Hello and welcome back to whatever it is I do here. So this week's video is gonna be very short, sweet, and simple. We're going to be ordering the parts for the R. And I know people are like, I haven't even ordered parts yet. If you're new here, I own a 2016 Golf R. It has a camshaft ticking noise. Replace the cam magnet adjuster already. One of the plungers. Of course, the last resort, which is the most labor intensive and expensive repair is the camshaft. So, we're gonna order the parts. Uh, ha, ha, ha. What am I doing? Okay, so here's the kicker. So it says fits these cars, right? Oh, maybe he fixed it. Yeah, okay. So Volkswagen Golf R 2015 17. So it's funny because before it only showed G like these GTI models. Um, as far as the compatibility with this kit, because I thought there'd be a kit for the R, but I kept only finding this kit for GTIs, and I'm like, well, that's that's not my car, like, that's not gonna be compatible. And then, I guess maybe he updated it, because before I didn't see any of these, like, the Alltrack, the SOT, all that other stuff. So, okay, which gives me more confidence. He said, I sent him, um, I sent him my VIN number, and he even verified it, so I... I'm definitely not questioning him at all. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the cart. Okay, so obviously you need to mess with timing and take the top chain off in order to take the camshaft off. I figured since I'm already there, I wanna do the timing chain kit. I don't know if I wanna do the timing chains anymore because it's like over a grand for the kit and I'm just doing it as a preventative. But I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Also, I have a master tech who's going to be helping and assisting with the timing because I'm not gonna have my valves get married to my piston tops. So once I have the cam cover off, I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm behind a pet hole right now. Thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, where was I? Okay, so yes, cam cover. Once the cam cover's off, um, you can tell. I mean, usually stretch timing chains are due to lack of oil, usually. Um, which my car gets an oil change that it probably doesn't need it, but I always like to be proactive, like three to 4,500 miles. So once I see if there's any play in between or like stretch in between the chains, like, and it's a hundred thousand miles, you expect a little bit like, but if worse comes to worse and the mechanic who's helping is like, yo, change your mother and chains and guides and all that and get the kit. I'll be like, all right, I guess. The book time is like 9.8 or something. So this is definitely gonna be a, like a series. This isn't gonna be like a one video cause it's gonna be like 60 minutes long and that's just not a thing. So might as well chop it up. And I only have like one day a week that I can even do this because of my job. So it's just gonna be a longer process. Believe me, I wish I could have like multiple days off to work on it. And I've been like trying to get a lot of experience under my belt too. Obviously you saw the last video, um, I pulled a 1.8 engine. I just did another 1.8 engine this past weekend. Like I pretty much did that one on my own. I was super proud of myself. It was like, it was actually really easy. Like it was a lot easier than I thought. I, um, I learn really quickly when it comes to cars, except when it comes to electrical connectors, I could just off myself. Some of them. So I'm getting better at them. So in the upcoming weeks, depending on when the parts get here, the next day, there we go. Okay. So what you just saw there was me ordering the parts and yeah. So I didn't even see that the parts were on back order. I must've missed it completely. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And I didn't realize this until I was like, when are they going to show up, right? So I went into my email and, and then I looked back on the website and it said back order. For anyone who's waiting for the R content, I'm sorry, but I don't know how long it's going to be. There's no ETA and that's that. Okay, anyways, back to it. <sighs> yeah, so just bear with me. I have a busy life and like all my time for myself, I hope you know, is put into this. Like if I'm not at work, I'm either at the gym or sleeping or working on this. So, and even when I'm not like doing a video, I'm editing a video. There, there aren't enough hours in a day. Okay, this is getting late too long. All right, meme of the week is gonna be right here in front of the Petco building. Thank you, bye.